y'all, it's your boy Justice Dilo, and I'm back with another video. If you're new to my channel, my name is Justice Dilo, and I do all things lifestyle, self care, a little bit of this, a little bit of that, mostly vlogs. But I would love to have you join my channel. Make sure you click that subscribe button if you're interested, and make sure you leave a comment down below. Tell me something that you've done to elevate. I want to hear it. I want to know what have you done, big or small. Now, let's get right into it. Today is April 29th. It's Saturday. It's about 1.15 p.m. And y'all, I am on the way out. I got a couple things I want to do. And it's a gloomy day. It's kind of like a... It's a nice day. Y'all know how the weather be nice, but it be gloomy. And that's what it is giving right now. I really, I'm going to be honest with y'all, I wanted to lay in the bed today. I wanted to not do nothing. Like, I just wanted to lay in the bed, watch some TV, maybe order something to eat, and just sit. But I was like, no. No, 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 no. Mm-mm-mm. Bad pattern. Let's not do that. And, you know, May is... Here it'll be here tomorrow, and I, no, it'll be here Monday. And I want to make sure I'm setting good intentions and, and doing what I need to do. So I want to go to Bed Bath and Beyond. Y'all know Bed Bath and Beyond filed for I think it's bankruptcy, going out of business, one of those things. And y'all know the braces be kicking my butt. Anyway, so they're going out of business and whatnot, and I want to see what they have if they have anything left. I'm pretty sure. You know, the housewives that, you know, don't got jobs, they can, you know, do things during the daytime, while us working people at work be running through all the good stuff. So, I'm going to see if they have anything. I'm also going to go to, it was somewhere else I was going to go. See, I should have wrote a list. That'd be my issue. I just be one of you know, rolling around the city and just do it. Oh, I want to go to Bed and Beyond. I want to go to this new smoothie, uh, not smoothie place, this new juicery that I found. I want to go back there and get an acai bowl and a juice. And then I want to come home. I need to get all my clothes that I do not wear out of the closet. So, y'all always see me with this dang baseball hat on. First off, my hair is not styled or gelled or anything. Y'all know I just don't be knowing what to do with the hair. Like, once I get it cut after two days, it's like blah. And I just don't know what to do. So, I have a hat on. Now, I've been having this hat for a very long time. If you've been with me, you know I've had this hat for a very long time. And it's really time to retire her. So, I've been looking at getting different type of hats, you know, leisure wear when I just want to throw a cap on. Um, this jacket I've had for a while, these track pants I've had for a while, and of course I have on my Balenciaga socks. I typically wear the same, you know, weekend attire when I'm running around. And y'all, I'm bored. I am bored, I am tired, I'm asleep. It's over, I'm done, I'm tired of looking at it. So I'm just like, okay, let's do this. Let's get rid of all this stuff that I don't wear. Because when I go in my closet, I'm just like, I don't wear this, I don't wear this, this is too small. Y'all know we trying to trim down the stomach. So a lot of the shirts that I have that were medium, I can't wear them. I cannot wear a medium shirt. I need a large and I hate that I have to go up a size because now when I'm looking in the mirror, it just don't look the same how I used to look. You know, you used to, when you used to be in a certain size, that's what you want to stay, you know, that's what you're accustomed to. And then when you get, you know, bigger, gain a little love weight or weight in general, you just, you know, everything look different. So, I want to buy new clothes. That's what I want to do. But I also know that right now I want to take working out serious because I want to shed some of these extra pounds, you know? So I'm going to do that and then I'm going to finish editing because the video will be out May 1st. No, not May 1st, tomorrow, Sunday, April uh, 30th. You should be watching a new vlog. So by the time you see this, it's probably going to be the next week. But that vlog should have been out and if it's not out, Hit me up in the DM and say where the vlog is. So, now we got that all out the way. I think I'm going to wear these glasses, y'all. I talked about these in my last vlog as well. They kind of just elevate the look. What y'all think? Should I wear the glasses? I think it's gone. I think it just all, uh, it, it kind of makes it look better. I love these glasses, y'all. I actually have another frame uh, coming. And I can't wait to show y'all, tell y'all about them. But I bought this, this is cute. 
cute. Y'all like the flowers? They're dead. They're about to, I'm about to throw them out actually today. And maybe I'll go get some new flowers. Who knows? These baby breath, I don't, I, I don't. I don't like the smell of them, y'all. It was just too potent, too flowery, too floral for me. So, enough rambling. I'm about to go ahead and go. I got my keys, my phone, and I'm taking my new Sony. I actually got a lens that's coming for this, y'all. I, I heard that they got a new lens out. And so, I'm gonna keep this camera. I, it's just perfect. It's perfect for every day going out. And right now, I'm on my Canon uh, M50, you know, with the, the, the lens that I had bought almost a year ago. So, it's perfect for just sitting, sitting, talking. And then when I wanna vlog, this is perfect. So I'm finding my way back, finding the rhythm, so make life easier. So, let's go. This is, this is, called Real Love, Real Love, Real Love. Keep a mad mad, in case anyone wanna get busy with me. Robert Matt Black, and I got a Billy I got. Okay, y'all, so I made it in. I'm over here at the bedwear because this is what I needed. And they have Euro pillows on sale, y'all. These are typically $40 and they're on sale for 32. You get 20% off everything. So here is the the prices. So if you ever come in Bath and Bath, Bed Bath and Beyond, here you go, screenshot that. Um, I'm sure it's gonna go down even more, but this is a good because I needed Euro. Y'all know I'm redoing the bedroom and I was looking for Euro pillows. Now these are the Nestwell quilted ones and they are good quality, y'all. When I tell you I love how big and plush they are, I think I'm gonna get two of these and then two of these um, next well alternative pillows. And they even have the pillow protectors right here. I probably won't need that, but yes. Come in, y'all. Come in here, come in here, come get it. They love it. <laughs> they be doing that dance. I be seeing it everywhere. Okay, y'all. So I just got done eating my acai bowl. I'm good and full. And now I'm going to show y'all the pillows that I chose from Bed Bath & Beyond. So the first pillow I chose y'all was this Nestwood Alternative Down. Uh, just a standard queen pillow. It's on the fluffier, firm side. It's considered medium, and I absolutely love this. Now, this pillow was typically, I think they said 20. I think it's normally, I think it's normally $15 each, but I got them for 12, and I got two of them. Yeah, it was usually 15, but I, uh, they don't sell for 20%, so I ended up getting them for $12. I believe. Um, I don't have a receipt, so I can't double check that. But I believe it was 12. And I also got these Euro pillows, y'all. The Nestwell quilted Euro pillows because who don't want that Euro pillow on their bed? Like, I cannot, I'm probably never gonna even sleep on these, but I'm going to put the decorative once I get the bedding of what I want. I mean, they had two versions of these. And the first version, it just was too. It just gave cheap, you know, I'm gonna see It was just like flimsy. It wasn't giving high quality hotel. I want my room to be looking like saloon. So I was like, let me go get, let me just go ahead and invest into the quilted ones. It has more down, it's stuffed, it's bigger, and I love it. I think I said it earlier, but I'm trying to find my style and I want to elevate my style. That's what season I'm in right now. Like, elevate my style. I could go buy whatever, but it's just like piecing it together, it's just not my stilo. I need to, I, I get inspired by things. Like I watch people, I see people, 
But I want to also have my own. Like, I'm not one to mimic every single thing because that's not that's not me. And if you struggle with that, that's not you. Don't mimic every little thing. You can get inspired by things, but don't mimic and do every little thing somebody else does. Do it in your own way. So I'm going to get rid of all those clothes. I'm going to try to find some inspiration because once we get rid of everything, then I'm going to go buy. I feel like... God be wanting you to get rid of stuff so he can bring in new stuff. And if you're trying to go buy new stuff and keep old stuff, your, your life is just too, it's too, too chaotic. No. <laughs> so I'm going to get rid of the stuff. I'm going to bring in some new stuff eventually. I'm going to take our time. And that's what we're going to do. So let's go. We are in the closet with it, people. We are in the closet. I have to take off that jacket, y'all. So, Welcome. To my closet <laughs> I have two dresses in here I know you can't see them but they're right here I have a small one and then I have the big uh, white dresser right here with five uh, drawers on it and that's the one I used to have in, in my room at the old, other apartment but I decided for my bedroom I don't want any dressers besides my nightstands um, I want to keep the space just very clean. I'm going to put a chair in the corner and then I want to keep the space just clean. So, no dressers will be shown that will put, be put in the closet like they are now. I This is Jordan's side, y'all. So, I'm not even going to touch this side. Uh, back here in the back, I don't know if y'all can even see that. We have like these cheer shelves. And I kind of organized it a while back. Let me show y'all. I don't think y'all can see it. Um, okay, you can see it a little bit. Okay, like right here, we have these like shelves in the closet. And so I pretty much put the bags, my bag hanger that my YSL bag hangs on right here. And that's pretty much it. We keep our fragrances over here. But it's just like miscellaneous stuff down here at the bottom. And I don't know, I gotta get rid of it. But right now, I'm supposed to be focused on things that I need to get rid of on this side, which is my side. And I hang up my pajamas, my clothes. This is a lot. Um, back here, I have some Clavin Klein stuff that I need to get rid of. And this is the stuff I was saying, like, I don't know if I want to um, give it to Goodwill or just, like, do a giveaway. And y'all can tell me if you want it, and I could just pick somebody to get it. Um, like for instance, this Michael Kors sweatshirt, y'all, is typically, it's, it's basically brand new. This is basically brand new. I've never, I've worn this probably one time. I'm being honest, one, maybe two times. It's in great condition. And it's a large. So, if you want it, let me know. Here's another one, y'all. This is another Calvin Klein, all white with the black CK. Y'all know I used to be obsessed with Calvin. And this one still has the tag, so I know I've never worn it. It's a large. So if you're interested, just let me know. This one is one of my favorites, but I'm willing to let it go. It's not a big deal. This is a large. I've worn it probably one or two times. Um, I should probably put this on Poshmark or something, huh? I don't know. I, it's just not really that serious to me. I know you can always make a profit on things, but... I wanna, I wanna do. I really, my heart is saying, do it a giveaway. So, if you're interested, this is Michael Kors. This is a large. Has a nice little fuzzy, you know, lettering on it. It's really, really nice. I have the same one that I had before, that gray one I showed y'all, in black. And I wore this once or two times. And it's a large as well. The Michael Kors embroidered. Can y'all see it? I hope y'all can see that. And then the Michael Kors lettering in white. So here's another one. I have a lot of these, y'all. It's just a lot of stuff in here that I don't wear. And it's not really my style anymore. You know, when you get older, you just be like, what's your style? That's, I know. Now, I know I, I'm not I'm not specific on what my style is because I'm still trying to learn it. But this ain't my style no more. This used to be my style. I used to love to put on a crew neck and some jeans. And that was my thing, but that's not my thing no more. So, trying to change it up. I'm gonna get rid of this though. I'm gonna probably put y'all on, um, what you call it? I'm gonna fast forward it because I don't wanna bore y'all just talking and doing this. So, I'm gonna put y'all over to the side. Let's get this closet 
cleaned up, okay? <laughs> Okay, y'all, so I just realized I never gave y'all a view of the room. So this is the room right here. That's why I said it looks like a luxury jail cell. So there's up the bed. If you don't remember, a while back when we first moved in, I sold my gray bed. I had a big gray penthouse pool bed in the last apartment. I sold it. And I still got the nightstands. Still got the um, lamps that I got from Target. That's all the stuff that I'm getting rid of or gonna give away. I don't know yet. I was able to get that done. And here's the other view. Here's the TV. That's a 65 inch TV, y'all. We got a new TV and we had it mounted, the floating shelf. And this is the room. Like, this is the room. This is it. So I'm gonna get a new actual bed. Now this frame is adjustable. I mean, yeah, is it called adjustable? It moves up and down. This is a queen size bed, but I have a remote over here. The bed will go up, it'll go down, it'll vibrate, massage, all that good stuff. So I'm gonna get a bed. I'm gonna get some mirrors. We're gonna get some art in here. I wanna get a chair right here. Cause that all this will be moved except for the, the, the wheatgrass. I wanna get a chair over here. And yeah, there's a picture of me and Jordan. I think we took that like last year. We were at some restaurant and then a guy came and was like, y'all wanna take a picture? And then we thought it was free. Little do we know we had to pay for it, but it was worth it. And my vacuum, look, I gotta find somewhere for that to go. Right now, that's the only place I can think of. The bathroom is across the hall. And then right here is where you can see that mirror I was telling y'all. I think I told y'all about it earlier. I had hung it up in that right there. But yes, this is all the clothes. I gotta hang up my pajamas. All this stuff I'm giving away. Give away, give away, give away, give away, give away. All that stuff is giving away. And then this stuff. Um, I want to probably give to subscribers if they want. If not, I'll just give it away. Y'all, this whole time I thought I was recording and I wasn't. Anyway, y'all, so I decided to buy some new shoes. So I was on TikTok and this girl came on my For You page and I was obsessed. Y'all know New Balance has been the new rave, the new thing. And hold on, let me put on bed because I thought I was recording and I wasn't. So we're gonna act like I never even opened this. And I'm gonna show y'all the outside of the box. <laughs> so here is the box, y'all. And I'm just gonna open them. No more talking. Y'all look at this. Look at this. Look at this color. Look at this color. Can you see this? Look at this shoe. When I tell you I ran and Googled. It took me a while to find this particular colorway because I just couldn't find it. I didn't know what, what was the call. Is it a purple? Is it a gray? Um, and this is the, the 9060. Um, I haven't worn them yet. Um, and I also have another colorway. It's in the closet and I just didn't feel like, you know, grabbing it. But this is the purple and gray one I got, y'all. And it is just so freaking beautiful they were going viral and then they i don't know if they sold out i haven't checked and look at the uh the website or not but i'll link them i got them directly from newbalance.com and they came within like two days it was very quick and i absolutely love them i wear a size 10 if you're wondering 
These are the New Balance 90s, 60s. But yeah, I just wanted to show y'all my new shoe. I can't wait to style them with something. You know, we, we trying. We gonna try. Slowly but surely, we trying. What's up, y'all? So I forgot to show y'all the juices that I got from uh, the juicery. I don't know the extra name. I need to look it up. Of the juice bar I be going to. Um, and they don't even have it on here. And I wish you. Oh, yes, it does. It's called Eat Craft Juicery. That's the juicery I go to. So if you're in Houston or Atlanta or LA, Miami, look up Eat, Eat, look up Eat. Look up Earth Craft Juicery, y'all. I'm telling you, you will not regret it. It's such a vibe. I love this place. The first one I got is this turmeric lemonade y'all this stuff is so good their promise is they have no preservatives additives artificial sweeteners or junk ever and y'all know we love that this one has turmeric lemon apple coconut water mango stein black pepper and when i tell y'all it's so good this one was so good it was just like real refreshing like real refreshing i think they're about nine dollars each don't get me wrong but it comes in glass they juice them daily so that's the first one i got the second one i've never tried i've seen it and it's just y'all when i show y'all this y'all gonna get it. it just looks so pretty it's called magic lavender oh no magic lavender oat latte y'all look at this look at this like i was like intrigued when i seen it i was like okay so i got this one and i did ask the girl i was like have you ever tried this and she was like it's so good she was like it's gonna make you feel so relaxed drink it like before you go to bed drink a little bit just it's gonna calm you relax you and i was like okay it does say anti-stress mood and sleep and this one says it has um raw oat hemp milk lavender flowers ashwagandha vanilla and agave nectar they said that ashwagandha was uh really good she was like going on about it and i had been seeing it online so this one this one is just really 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 cute i can't wait to try this tonight i'm probably gonna do it tonight or tomorrow um and i'm gonna have the other one in the morning so i'm about to go to Mendocino Farms. I think I said that. If I didn't, that's where I'm about to go. I'm going to go get me a a pesto chicken sandwich or I'm going to get the not so fried chicken sandwich. But that's it for today, y'all. I just wanted to come show y'all the juices. Make sure y'all check them out. And I'll see y'all tomorrow. Yeah, as long as I can smack that ass and pull that hair for you. No, she say this is my shit. This is my shit. Okay, y'all, so I got back from Mendocino's Farm. I got my pesto sandwich, which I'm ready to eat. But I stopped by Target real quick to get some stuff, so I want to show y'all what I got. Let me take off this jacket, child. It is so hot. So when I was there, I seen the Bevel Body Lotion. And when I tell y'all, is it focusing? It might not be focusing, y'all. There it is. This body lotion smells so good so i was like okay i'm gonna give it it says deeply nourishing skin all day moisture i'm gonna give it a try i'll come back probably um the next vlog which will probably be a week and then let y'all know if it did what it needs to do but when i tell y'all it smells so good i can't even explain like the sense it just smells good so with the lotion I said, well, girl, go ahead and get the body wash, too. So, I went on and got the body wash. It smells exactly like the lotion, I, I believe. Let me... Yeah, well, hold on. Yes, yes, it, it does. It smells just like the lotion. So, body wash, lotion, bevel. Check them out if you have in Target. I believe, I, don't quote me, it might be black-owned. might not be. Don't quote me. And then, and my glasses fogging up. Yes, they are. It's because I'm hot, so I'll just, I'll just put them right here, y'all. Y'all seen the look. I'm just, I've been wearing them all day, and can I say, shout out to the two people. It was two people that gave me compliments. They was like, I really love your frames. 
I like this look. And I was like, oh, thank you. So the frames are framing. So I also got Jordan some Scotch Porter uh, Daily Hydration Leave-In Beard and Hair Conditioning Spray. He got two of the other products. I think he he got, is it, is it focused in there? It is, y'all. He ended up getting the conditioner and the wash for the beard. He said he really liked it. And I was like, okay, so I'm a, I went and got him this so he can have something to spray every day because you don't have to wash and condition your beard every day. I don't think so. I've, I've never had a real big beard, but I don't think you're supposed to. But this, you can leave in. You can do it daily. So I was like, okay, cool. And last but not least, the, the thing that I really came in there to get was deodorant. I got him some. I got me some. We use Dove. Jordan uses, well, I, let me say, I use non-aluminum deodorant. Jordan does not. He ain't with it. He needs that deodorant. He said, look, he needs the deodorant. So... This is the kind we get. We get dub. I'm getting ready to eat, y'all. I'm hungry. So, I'm going to eat my pesto sandwich. Sit down. Y'all want to see how big it is? It's really big. Look how big this sandwich is. I got to wash my hands so I can't touch it. But, I can show y'all a little sneaky peeky of the pesto sandwich. Y'all want to see it? Can y'all see it? Is it going to focus in? It's always going to focus in on me. Look at that. Look, look at, look at, oh we! I cannot wait to eat. So let me go wash my hands. I'm going to go eat and I'll see y'all tomorrow. Bye. So much you feel like life is trying to break you. But I want you to understand life is just trying to get your attention. Because God's trying to whisper something in your ear. That can only be whispered if you break down. And out of your pride and out of your shame and out of Hey y'all, so we decided to go to the outlets because I need more clothes. I told y'all project get new clothes, new season, and that's what I'm doing. I'm gonna go out here. We right now we at the Cypress Outlets, the premium outlets, and we done came out here a couple times and I wasn't impressed. So we gonna try it this time and see if we can go in some, a couple of these stores, get something to eat. And then head back to our side of town because you know this is this is not my side of town. This is very far. But we gonna go ahead, we're gonna have a good time. Jordan is with me. Y'all wanna say hey to my man? Let me see if he wanna talk to y'all. What's up, y'all? <laughs> y'all know he's shy. He I don't know why. He done had this camera before, but I guess cause it's been a couple months. I gotta break him back in, pull this camera back out. You missed the camera, right? 
Yeah, I missed it. <laughs> Come on, y'all. <laughs> oh, I hear it. Yeah. Okay, I'm in the dressing room, y'all. The DK and Y shirt. I'm gonna show y'all just a minute. Let me put it on. That's the DK and Y shirt. I ain't got some. Huh? They didn't have it in the color. The DK and Y in the back. Y'all see that? Okay, did you get one? Yeah, for now. Okay. You coming or no? Okay. And. This shirt. So I think I'm gonna get this. This is the buy. I like this. Here's another one, y'all. So I, I love this color. I really like the orange one, but I like how this feels. So I'm gonna try this one on and see how it fit. Look how this looks. <laughs> <laughs> y'all, this is a, a no. When I tell you this stuff, y'all, look at this. Look at this. Look at these. <laughs> mm, this one is okay. It's kind of um, tight to me, y'all, at the bottom. Like, what y'all think? Let me show y'all. It's kind of tight, huh? Yeah, Yo, it's kind of tight. I don't like my shirt, so it's kind of tight. So, this is going to be a no for me on this one. So the only one that we get, we're gonna probably get out of sex fifth off, because this is fifth off, y'all. This ain't sex. Um, is the DK and Y one. This is a cute shirt, but just too tight. It's too tight. All right, y'all. We at the burger joint. We about to go eat. <laughs> Did we end up getting a chili cheese onion ring? No, we got the Store manager. Huh? I was reading the email. Hey y'all, so we are on the way to do a couple things. So, Goodwill first. We are gathering up all the clothes and giving away all this stuff to the Goodwill. And it's done. And this is the pile that I kept. So, um, I was telling y'all if y'all was interested, just let me know. And then we're gonna go to the storage because this dresser, which I got from West Ham probably two years, maybe three years ago, um, was in the closet. And it was taking up too much space. So, I decided to go ahead and put it in our storage because we already pay storage every month. So we might as well maximize it. It's a pretty good size storage. So instead of giving it away just yet, I'm going to put it away. Y'all want to see the, um, hey y'all. Y'all want to see the, the closet now? So here's my closet. And here is our white dresser that we're going to keep. And I put, you know, some stuff on top. So I put this stuff on top of it. Very nice white dresser. And then here's all the open space that we have. So we got two racks here. We got this big rack right here. We got a rack down here for me. And pretty much I got rid of everything. I'm really starting over from ground zero with the clothes. That's my side over here. And this is Jordan's side. Um, I think he went through everything. You went through everything over here, honey? Mm -mm, I have to go through those t-shirts. Oh, he got to go through these t-shirts. Um, and then we have the YSL bag, the Chanel bag, all our little accessories, things down here. I'm trying to get rid of everything. Um, I got this coach bag down here, y'all, that I have never even used. I think I'm going to give this away, a part of the giveaway. Oh Lord, hold on, drop it down. It's this teal looking coach bag, I never worn before. It'll be good for somebody's nephew or even your niece. I think I'm about giving this away. You see, it still got the tags on it. It was a gift for me a couple years ago, but I never, ever, ever worn it. Um, so I'm gonna put that right there. <laughs> ooh, ooh. Except, Not too much. Accept it. 
Yeah. Jordan, you done gained weight? Just a little bit. Mm, like five to ten a little? Five to ten pounds. A little? Five to ten pounds. Five to what? Five to ten. Look at him, y'all. He don't want to come to terms. He can't fit none of this stuff no more. I can fit a lot of my clothes. He's a big boy. I know I be feeding my man. <laughs> I feed him legs, hips, and body. Legs and hips and body, body. Look at his face. I know a good man, yeah. <laughs> 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 Jordan said the elevator not working, y'all. Now we done came here to um to put the thing in storage, and he said it's not working. So um I don't think they have no other elevators to get us up to the um. To the floor. It still didn't let you up? What is it doing? Yeah, the light's like you press the button, but the light is not staying illuminated. It just. Oh, so we had parts right here, right? And it was this basket right there. And I told Jordan, I said, um, I said, but you sure that basket ain't gonna blow into my car? He said, I was, mm -mm. but he could tell how I was looking. That meant I wanted him to go move that basket. Look at my man, y'all. My man, my man, my man. <laughs> I love me some key god what's up y'all so i just realized while i'm sitting here editing this video that i did not do an ending clip but that's okay i want to come and thank each and every last one of y'all for watching this video in its entirety and showing me so much love and support y'all we got some big big news to reveal very very soon and any of those clothing items that you've seen earlier in the video let me know down in the comments if you would like them or send me an instagram dm y'all i have to get started on the next vlog it is tuesday may 9th you should be getting this vlog around 11 or 12 ish but i just wanted to come and say thank you and we gonna go on and vibe out of this thing hey hey bye y'all